Hello, everybody. I am going to be testing eScan Internet Security tonight. I was requested to test this earlier today. I'm interested to see how this does because there aren't too many tests. Um, although avcomparatives.org has given it an all right rating. So I'm going to go a big go over here and see what it looks like. I have, I believe, 13 malicious links that I'm going to test against eScan. And we're going to see how it turns out to see whether eScan can successfully prevent these links. Since there aren't too many reviews on eScan, at least I haven't seen any video reviews, I'm going to just run through the whole process so you can see how long everything takes and what the whole installer and everything looks like. I'm running this right now on a virtual machine with uh, one gigabyte of RAM. And we're going to see if we notice any slowdowns too. Alright, so this is almost done. Uh, by the way, it's an 80 megabyte installer. 90 megabyte. So it's, it's hefty. Um, it's not as light as some, as some suites. But it's not too bad compared to AVG, uh, trial. I don't really know what it's doing right here. I'm assuming it's getting a, a trial key. All right. So, it automatically loads up here, and it scans for certain, certain things. I, uh, it's also looking for errors. I'm going to cancel this, because I know this is a clean, um, I know this is a clean virtual machine. So it looks like it applies extra securities. So let's let's finish here. And it doesn't ask me to restart. I like that because that's always a pain in the neck when I'm doing a review. So let's open eScan Protection Center. So we've got a pretty simple splash screen. All right, let's see what we got here. Um let's update this. All right, and we'll hide this while we're going over there. Protection. Settings. So it says disinfect. We'll enable code analyzer. That'll be a good idea. And 
and let's take a look. I'll leave that alone. I'm not doing a mail test. Web protection. Settings. That's fine. We can leave that alone. And let's see. We've got firewall. Let's take a look at settings here. So it's basically rules. You can edit and application rules. So I could, if I see a process I don't like, I could basically right click and should be remove. And that should get rid of processes. I could deny too. I'll permit that though. And then you can edit a few other settings. Uh, I don't need to change any of that. Endpoint security. So this checks to make sure that you don't get infected from USB drives. So there's not much I'm going to change here either. Although application control, let's see. You can enter an application to block. Computer game. Instant messengers, peer-to-peer -peer applications. All right, it's not letting me open any of those. All right, and privacy control. Let's see, settings here. All right, we've got an updated database now. So if we take a look here. So this is basically a, a cleaner, and it runs... It runs erases of browser caches, cookies, ActiveX data, plugins history, whatever. So you can clear any privacy information that you don't want um, picked up by malware. So down here we can set a password so that nobody can change my settings. And tools. I can view my system information. I can download latest hotfix for what was that oh it must have had to restart itself that was quite a surprise uh, it looks like it restarted itself so it could apply the updates or something so I'm just gonna open this back up for a little bit And also, while we're doing this, I'm going to open the task manager, see what we got. So, I'm assuming that's eScan, that's eScan, that's eScan, that's eScan, that's eScan. I think that's... Wow, eScan has several processes. Um, and honestly, yeah, it has a lot of processes. So I can restore Windows default settings if something happens or download latest hotfix for eScan. So, and I can send debug information. So, you know, it's a pretty simple interface. There isn't much for me to change, um, for me to edit. So I'm going to move on to part two of this video here. And we're going to actually see whether eScan is really worth it against what it's really made to do which is protect malware from hurting your computer. So I'm going to stop this video and we're going to continue in part two.